days are numbered. My daughter and my grandbaby will be home, and there's nothing you can do to stop that. Nothing. Mm. You speak of home, Miss. to get 
get respect or to be respected, you also have to give it. Mm-hmm. And you don't respect not one soul that is in, in carbonation. You don't. Mm-hmm. And so, so, so obviously we see that she's polygamous right now. So you feel like, do you feel like that's her being herself or do you feel like she's going against herself? Do you feel like this is him controlling her? Do you feel like she's against her will? What do you think of your heart? She's she's definitely, I'm not going to call it against her will. That'd be going a little bit far. Mm -hmm. But as her mother, she's not polygamous. No, she's not. Right. And that's, that's why she fights. That's why she's fighting the other women. That's why she, a a polygamous woman is not going to have any jealousy against another woman Mm -hmm. so if you're jealous against other women you're not polygamous Mm -hmm. so why do you think she's doing it I think Elysium first off she's in love with him that's number one she's in love and she wants to be that submissive person for a man and that's what she's doing that's just it he has convinced her not only that it's it's certain other things that have happened in her life that she's been taught that if the wife is not submissive that certain things or bad things happen to the marriage And Eligio takes that and he drills it and he makes her believe it even further. So you gotta you gotta understand when you well, we all have to understand when you're being told something repetitively, you start to believe it. And basically that's just what this is. Right. Right. So you don't believe that she is truly this way, you believe that it's something that he has repeatedly instilled in her, and so only because of that she's come for. So, so her being married right now uh, to this man, mm-hmm. you think that's ultimately what she wanted? Because she's in love with him, yes. Yeah. And, yes. and do you think that she thought it would have been different if she married him than what it is yes. now? Yes. Right. Yes. I think everything that she does, she tries to conform him into a, a different person. But that's the, that's just not her reality. Right. He is who he is. And he's not going to change. He's not going to bend for anybody. So you believe she thinks she can change him? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. <sighs> yes. He has her to believe that she has no purpose here. That her purpose is in combination. So when you when you're in a situation like this in or in a marriage, because that's what they want to call it, uh, it's oh my goodness, baby. When a man does not love you, he it's not a marriage, okay? It's a dictatorship, and marriage is not a dictatorship. All right. Hmm. Um. What do you know about Velvet as far as what she does have? You spoke about her purpose. What are some of the things that you know Velvet can pursue within herself as a woman, you know, being home, being back to herself? What are some of the things that you see for your daughter in your vision of of praying and speaking life into her? What are some of the Okay, so let's go back to the time when she came home that very first time. My vision for her is to be that artist that she has in her heart, Mm -hmm. to make jewelry and take care of her baby from home and and also be able to support herself and her and her child. That is the vision I have for her. I, the whole wellness way of living, it's not a wrong life. It's not a wrong way to live. Mm-hmm. But I don't understand why you have to do it in the tropics with this situation. It could still be in the tropics. But I don't understand why you have to be in this situation. You have so much more to offer than to just be controlled and manipulated. We all know of all of her talents. Velvet can sing. She sings beautifully. She has a beautiful voice. Yes, she, she does. She cooks. Yes, she bakes. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, from you. and... She that from you. She always talks about that. Mm-hmm. When she comes home, we're in the kitchen. That's our pastime. We're in the kitchen. We're learning about one another. We're bonding. We're in the kitchen. I don't. So I don't understand. I 
just don't understand. I don't understand a person who has so much more to offer that wants to be in the situation that she's in. I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Hmm. And, and do you ever think that one day she could have a new life if she were to try again? Like, what as a mother could you tell her from your experience? Um, from my experience, it's never too late to start over. Mm. Never. Never too late to start over. I am, and I know a lot of people in this life is probably a living example that it is never too late to start over no matter what your situation is um as a matter of fact you have inspired me to do a project i'm just gonna call it a project and my main purpose for doing this project is to let people know that you don't become a statistic to your circumstance Mm. you rise above it you take control over your own destiny Mm. no man no husband has control over your destiny 